in the bottom left corner of Eternal Empire, it's the Kyojin. And in the top right, as the Pink Zerg, it's the Atlantic Canadian Starcraft Society's The Tiny. The Kyojin is the Titan of Alpha X, as well as the Knights of Ren. He can, he can be a little bit aggressive, he can be a little bit cheeky, especially on uh, maps like Eternal Empire, um, where there's a lot of places to hide proxies and a lot of room in your base to hide a Dark Shrine. Uh, he is going to be pushing out with a probe here. Oh no, I'm dropping frames, what is this? Um, but the Kyojin scouts in with a probe. Um, the Tiny was a force to be reckoned with this year in Alpha Rookie. And do I think he can beat the Kyojin? Yeah. Yeah, it's anything's possible. Uh, the Kyojin, as I stated before, is definitely a favorite to win this group, which of course makes everyone else an underdog, but it, it's a light favorite. You know, the Kyojin has his up and downs. Um, however, if he's showing up today, it's going to be hard for anyone to take him down. Now, uh, our Protoss player could pivot any direction here, but just to make some pre uh, predictions knowing the player on Eternal Empire, he really likes to go DTs into charge. Yeah, there's the 223 Twilight Council, which is very, very, very early. Um, and while Resonating Glaives is definitely in meta right now, um, Kyojin generally doesn't go for that, so... One Adept shades forward here for the Kyojin, the second Adept coming out back home to plug up the wall. <clears throat> and there's a robotics facility here for the Kyojin, most certainly to produce a warp prism. And given the amount of gas on hand, I would expect a dark shrine very, very, very soon. Significant amounts of damage from this Adept. She's going to dive in on the net. Uh, she doesn't get any more kills. An Immortal? Okay. I actually don't know what's going on. Because this was a very, very early Twilight Council from the Kyojin. And, uh... He's not doing anything with it. Okay, he's worried about a counterattack from the Tiny, and he is right to be worried about that. Uh, he saw the saturation on the natural, and the low drone count um, at that timing in the game was enough to signal to the Kyojin that he needed to defend, 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 and that the Tiny was going to go for an attack. No! What, what is the Tiny doing? The Tiny's getting nine drones! Nine! Drones! After making all these units? Oh my god. Kyojin's still scared of an attack here. He's uh, he's going for a cyber core block, so of course he's not going to let that building finish, but... um, Yeah, you don't out-macro a Protoss after making this much army supply and not attacking with it. uh, Or without defending the Protoss 2 base. Kyojin, I think, needs to scout. He needs to host Native Phoenix very soon because there has been no attack, right? Um, no, don't let the Cyber Core finish. He let the Cyber Core finish. Okay. I guess he wanted a hard wall in because he does have a Warp Prism finishing. He's going to go for charge as well. Um, but yeah, I think misplays on both sides here. 
there is the Dark Shrine. It is going to be Dark Shrine Charge, but this is very late. This is supposed to be hitting around uh, 10 to 20 seconds ago, and the Dark Shrine's just started. The Warp Prism is just moving out now, and it has a Paltry, one Immortal, and two Zealots to go up against all this army supply that the Tiny made. A very non-standard game. The Tiny gets a scout on the Dark Shrine and is immediately going to throw down Safety Spore at the third as he morphs in four Overseers. I'm guessing one to deploy at each base and one to keep with the army. Yeah, Kyojin tries to invade, uh, engage at the third, but he's pretty well defended here. And the Tiny, I can't stress how far behind he is economically right now. At the 6.30 mark, well actually at the 6 minute to 7 minute mark, you're looking to take a 4th base as a Zerg. And the Tiny is nowhere close to doing that. He's not even fully saturated on his third. Oh no, three drones not mining out of the gas as well. Kyojin is gonna pull back home. I don't I don't know what's going on guys. I, I don't know how to read this game uh, Spires being thrown down for the tiny. This could be a muta switch. It also could be a late game Well, there's so much gas banked. This is almost certainly a muta switch um, That could work against the Kyojin. Oh, no, he's not gonna I was just about to say he's gonna have archons because he has DTs on the map, but Two DTs go down for the Kyojin. That's a huge pick here for the tiny. Okay, well, the Tiny's defense force just kind of crumbled. That was a terrible engagement for the Zerg. Here comes the Muta switch. Uh, Tiny's focusing the Immortals. I think he should focus down the Stalkers, focus down the Sentries, but uh, he's going to get caught out in the back here by some Zealots that Kyojin ran around the side. Here come the Muta. Oh no, they're not fighting the anti-air together. Huge throws on both sides. I don't know who wins this, guys. I think it's going to be the Kyojin. It's going to be the Kyojin. He just has too much here. The Muta can't deal damage in time. GG is going to be called. The Kyojin takes game number one. In the top right... Well, oh, uh, I did it again! Okay, in the top middle of purity and industry, it's the Teal, Protoss, the Kyojin. And on the right side... As the pink Zerg, it's the tiny. Kyojin is flying that alpha dragon. High and proud. The tiny with um the Atlanta Canadian Starcraft Society mishmash mishmash of things. Uh, Just an assortment of things on their banner. But hey, thank you so much for the follow, Oxor7. Hatch gas pool out of the tiny. Kyojin throws down a gateway at the front. I... I don't like this uh, map for Zerg macro play. I, I don't think it's good for it. Um, others may disagree with me. It is very large, so the Zerg can mass expand, but... There's a lot of choke points that you can get caught out in. A lot of ramps. Uh, there's a good amount of open ground as well, but it's mostly in the middle here. And even then, you have these vision blockers uh, in between choke points, and you have to somehow clear out those rocks. It's just a mess. Um, the map maker was like, hey, this map's supposed to trick you into going air, even though it's not good for air. Thanks to the good game design zones. And I'm like, guys, every pro player is going air. Everybody's doing it. <clears throat> uh, it. 
this doesn't really matter. This doesn't matter when you're attacking. It matters when you're retreating, really. Um, you, you just eat, like, a two shots extra going in from a missile turret and two shots leaving. So, the Kyojin is going for an early Twilight once again. I can't stress enough, uh, even though it looked like the Kyojin just smashed the Tiny's army there, and he most certainly did, uh, that game was actually pretty close. It wasn't even that Tiny didn't have uh, enough army, it was just that the Tiny, even with his mistakes in making that army and not macroing properly, um, just engaged poorly. Had he engaged properly with the tool set he had, he would have, he, he had a very good chance of holding against the Kyojin, uh, taking out the initial three, four stalkers that were with that army, as well as the two centuries. And then, even though his ground forces were depleted, the Muta could have cleaned everything up, but uh, it did not go that way. Kyojin got a wraparound on the Zerg army with his zealots and just gunned everything else down uh, from range. Charge is a little over halfway done here for the Kyojin, and there's the Dark Shrine. Uh, this is a lot more focused of a plan from the Kyojin, although I think somehow... Okay, no, 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 this is... Yeah, this is fine. He needs to move that War Prism out now. <laughs> the Tiny is scouting the island base. What are you doing, the Tiny? That, that island base can't be taken for, like... Until, like, now, you have to get this out and then get the probe over there. This is the only unit that the Protoss can use to, uh, hurry probes. I guess you could rush a warp prism, but then the Zerg can just overrun your naturals, so that's... That's no good. The Kyojin is crashing in here, uh, but it looks like the Tiny has a handle on things for now. Oh, he loses a queen. How is he going to deal with the second wave of aggression? Kyojin is about to get the first DT on the map. It's a matter of seconds. He's microwing the zealots in and out of the war prism to try and dodge damage, I guess. But these are melee units, so you can't really dodge the shot. And here come the Dark Temple. Uh, wait a second. Why isn't he making DTs? The Dark Shrine was finished. Oh, the Tiny is going to defend. The Queen's going to force away the War Prism! This is a throw from the Kyojin! Despite losing two Queens, the Tiny lost no drones. And has ample army supply on the field to deal with this War Prism. Oh no! He sent, he's going on the attack! That's not a good idea. He saw the War Prism now. It's too late. It's too late to come back. Kyojin's going to snipe the third. In the meantime, the Tiny is crashing into the Protoss natural. The Kyojin knows if he snipes his third, all he needs to do is hold. He's throwing down three shield batteries, but this Zealot in the wall, or uh, this Adept in the wall, is a little bit softened up to these oncoming Ravagers, and there is more than enough for the Tiny to break through. Artosis Pylon is all that's powering this as well. These two shield batter, uh, well... At least the shield battery. I don't know about the second one. Yeah, just the shield battery will be powered here. So Kyojin does have a line of defense to treat, retreat back to. But Tiny is going to take out the wall. However, the Tiny did not bring an overseer with this army. In the meantime, uh, there's no units back at home to defend for the Tiny. So despite the Spore Crawler being here, the DTs get every drone and they're going to kill the Spore. No, they aren't. Okay, they kill the Spore, so this is a dead natural for the Tiny. He is all in across the map, and again, there's no Overseer! No Overseer with his army, so the DTs will eventually be able to clean everything up. As long as the Kyojin doesn't eat too many probes and damage, he's gonna be fine here! The Tiny battles his own Ravager! That's a huge loss! 
He was trying to hit the DTs, but he hit his own Ravager instead. In the meantime, Kyojin's DT hit squad is cleaning up Ling after Ling after Ling, and he's going to save them and turn them into Archons. GG! The Kyojin takes the series 2-0. Moving on to the winner's match.